Hi guys, how are you guys doing? It's me back again for another video if you haven't already. Like, comment and subscribe. It would mean a lot as well. So um this is gonna go up on my Titanic YouTube channel. Um just one so how are you guys doing and push the notification bell to be notified every time I upload. Let's get right into it. Hang on, try and wait for the answer. Hey everybody, this is Tom Linsky. I have some bad news for you. This might be the last update of the year where I'm wearing a Hawaiian shirt. It's just getting colder out. Anyway, it's time for our relatively infrequent monthly update. Titanic is moving forward. Matt has been working hard on the officers' quarters as well as working well, on the galleys with a great. couple of the other team members. The galleys are quite a complicated part of the ship. There's all sorts of unique pieces of machinery, many repeating parts, and of course a lot of finely detailed items throughout, from hot presses to potato peelers to just all sorts of silverware. It is a very long and arduous task, and I don't envy him on that. Kyle's been helping a little bit, but he's also been working on the outside of the ship, specifically around the hull. You may have noticed that our website progress chart hasn't really updated since June, and quite frankly, that's because the parts that were under construction back then are still under construction. They're just a lot farther along now. We do have the engine room going. The condenser pumps are finished, as well as Yay! the reciprocating engine for the most part, and the engines will soon be going into the engine. One of the hot ticket items lately has been the NPCs. There's been a lot of talk about those. In the last status update, I showed you an in-progress shot of John Phillips, Titanic's chief wireless operator. Well, he is finished now, and so is Titanic's first officer, William Murdoch. They're both finished. We have them complete, in-game, and ready to go. In our previous live stream, I think it was last week, we started talking about how the next character we wanted modeled was Violet Jessup. Yeah. And a lot of people got pretty excited about that even contributing specifically for Violet Jessup so that we could have her modeled. Her concept art is long finished, but we need to now go ahead and get her modeled and animated. And it was really neat to see a lot of people contributing, and what's really unique about that is they get to see Violet Jessup in the final game and know that their dollars went specifically towards that. That's pretty cool. We're just waiting on the final pricing agreement for her before we give that the green light. Another interesting thing is we've been working with the Swiss Titanic Society. They've contacted us long ago, back in our early days of Indiegogo, asking to actually sponsor the inclusion of a Swiss character of their choice, and I thought that was an awesome idea. Well, we've agreed to that, and they've had someone lined up for a while, and their concept art is under development. It's looking pretty good, but I'll leave that for a little bit, and I'll leave that in, in their court to announce. I'd like to make a YouTube video in the near future about the characters going into this game, using some of the examples that we have so far. From start to finish, the development of an NPC, what they're going to be like in the game, how they are styled, what it's going to be like to interact with them, that sort of thing. And I think that will make for a very interesting video. So we're going to probably do that as soon as we have a show reel of them animated that we can share. Pier 54 in New York City. That is done. Inside and out. That's how far the comes that. Part of that. With the exception of the fuse boxes, I believe, is done and it is going into the engine. It's a remarkable amount of detail made by a fan who actually joined the project and has offered to help and has done it practically on a volunteer basis. And it's, it's fantastic what he has done and it'll be used in the game. A lot of expansion of our team lately has been fans who have shown us some of their work and proved themselves and joined up. And that's honestly how this project keeps going forward. It's a passion project for everybody on board. There's a number of people in our audience who are quite critical, but then at the same time, there's also people who come out and say, I want to do this. And then they stick to their word and they help and make something like Pier 54. That's phenomenal. Southampton. It's still Southamptoning. In fact, we've just begun working on some of the more unique aspects of the city's playable region. Now, here's a pretty big thing that I've hinted to a lot lately, quite obviously, on the newsletter and in our recent live stream. One of the biggest features of our YouTube channel specifically are our real-time syncings. 
they bring in millions upon millions of views and thousands upon thousands of dollars in revenue which goes towards the project alongside private contributions from our audience and the sales of the 3d printed models it is our largest revenue source and like i said the revenue goes towards the development of the game it's how we were able to get these npcs or these other aspects of the ship modeled here's the issue with that though making those animations takes time and effort from our team but at the same time it grows our audience in addition to the revenue and that big audience number is very appealing to the investors it's one of the main things that helps us get into the door with them well in order to keep making these animation but not take away from the development of the titanic a guy named levi rourke who has made real-time sinking animations in the past has joined the team and i've been working with him daily to get the next animations going We've also brought a modeler on board named Lucas Gustafsson. Some of you may know, he, he posted a bunch of free ship models on the SketchUp warehouse, but we're not using those free models. He's joined up officially, and he is devoting all of his effort into modeling the ships that we're looking for for these animations and modeling them right. Like everyone else on the team, he and Levi are giving this their all. So combined with their talent and our resources and references, as well as the combined historical knowledge of J.K. Ed Layton and Mike Poirier were putting together a real-time syncing of the RMS Lusitania to be premiered in a future Lusitania week, maybe in May around the anniversary, if not sooner. We might also accompany that with a virtual experience that you will be able to play on your own computer in VR or non-VR. I want to make this very clear. They are a devoted team working on these animations and experiences and CGI footage for the YouTube videos. Their efforts and, and my time directing them do not take away from the effort being put into the main Titanic game. I want to make that very clear because I know there will be a lot of people in forums criticizing that. However, before Lusitania week, we've got Britannic week coming in November, and I think you guys are going to like what we have in mind for that. In addition to these new crew members, we have a few other friendly faces joining the team, including Matt Howell, our new wireless operator. That's our own cute name for social media manager. Speaking of social media, we're trying out a monthly newsletter. You may have received it if you've signed up for it in the past. To be clear, this is just a tryout. It costs us a little bit of money to do these newsletters, so we're doing it for a couple of months to see if it catches on. And if we stop in a few months, you know why. Zeno is also doing his own monthly newsletter to keep everybody up to date on how the 3D printed models orders are progressing and when they will be shipped. Now, speaking of Zeno, he's been working really hard on those orders. Just today, Monday, he's shipped orders up to 100820. And tomorrow, he'll be getting the next batch of 60 or 80 or so. Now, on a more personal note, I wanted to tell you about something that I'm doing. I've traveled quite a bit. My friends and I have camped all over the place. I've been through the Middle East. I've been through Asia. I've been through Europe about a dozen times. I've been through the American desert a whole bunch of times as well. Camping, exploring, and coming across all sorts of exciting stories. Well, I've, I've filmed all along the way, sort of like what you see on this channel about things related to the Titanic or other ships, except these videos don't relate to those. They are historical, though. Sometimes they're a little close, actually. I've got a number about the Great Eastern and, and other ships, and I've made a new YouTube channel that I'm going to start posting these videos as well as interviews with other people and a whole bunch of variety of things that I've made and I'm going to continue to make in my free time. If you are interested, check it out here on YouTube. The name is Part-Time Explorer. It's a new channel, so it doesn't have a custom URL yet, but I'm putting the link in the description below. In fact, I have a couple videos up already, an intro talking about the channel and another video talking about a washed-up shipwreck of a yacht from the 1920s up in Nova Scotia. It's pretty cool, and I'm going to have more videos coming really soon. If you're interested, check it out and subscribe. I'd certainly appreciate the support. I'm going to be posting other videos, some about ocean liners, such as interesting artifacts I've got, like some of the stuff behind me or in my storage room or, or wherever. So check that channel out, but at the very least, stay tuned here. Thank you, and goodbye. So that was interesting, I actually loved that. They'll be doing loads more status updates, they haven't done one for about... How many months? Gotta be about three months. Three months as they've done a status update of the Titanicon and Glory game. 
If I'm correct, I think it's coming out next year. It might correct me if I'm wrong. I will. I really appreciate that. So this will go onto my Titanic YouTube channel. Subscribe to it. It is called Autistic Titanic Fan Twenty Two. So um, it's gonna be. That's actually pretty good. This is something I want to do for a while. There'll be um. Everything Titanic. Everything videos Titanic. Uh, you probably get the idea. Um, it is... It's only got one video on it. This will go onto that YouTube channel. So... It will be absolutely amazing. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it, so I hope you guys enjoy the channel. So I'm just trying to look for it for you guys. It will be, I will do like a Titanic anniversary stream on my main YouTube channel. So yeah, it'll be good. Um, just trying to look for it. Found it's got a lot three subscribers at the moment. It's got a, that one view I did. It's got eight views. Eight views at the moment. So if you guys aren't already, go and subscribe to it. It'll mean a lot to me actually. And um, love you all. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Like, comment, and subscribe, and push the notification bell to be notified every time I upload Autistic Titanic Fan 22 out.